a little bit about your race for mayor and how you're feeling about it at this point. I feel pretty good about it. I have 11 other candidates running against me, but uh, I really think God put me in this position. And if it's time for me to leave, if that's what God says, I'll be gone. But if he wants me to do another term, I'll be back in there. How strongly do you feel, though, about running? Are you, are, do you feel you've accomplished the job that you set out to do, or is there much more to do? I think I've, we made a lot of accomplishments. I don't just say I, I think it's we. We brought a lot of things to the city of Compton that Compton never had before. We never had a Starbucks in the city of Compton, and now we have three. Uh, we didn't have a shopping center, so we didn't have a Target. We didn't have a Best Buy. We didn't have a Home Depot. We didn't even have a, a what people consider a nice sit-down restaurant. Now we have a Friday's. So I think we accomplished a lot, but there's a lot more I would like to get accomplished. Uh, one of the things I like to get accomplished is just to get us on a basic maintenance schedule for quality of life issues like paving the streets, trimming the trees, graffiti removal. That's just basics. That's what we're supposed to do as a city. But I also have some more, I say you would say more grand plans. Uh, I would like to have the Alondra Grand Park completed. Uh, in the city of Manhattan Beach, they have the sand dunes. and. They don't want people to use them. In the city of Santa Monica, they have these stairs that people use to exercise. So we have this dump site on the laundry where we can't build any homes, so we can build a park. So what I would like to do is put, replicate what they have in Manhattan Beach and Santa Monica and Compton. So we'll put some, a sand dune in the middle, two stairs, concrete stairs, wooden stairs on each side. We would allow people to come and use the facilities. We would get good publicity. And one of the things I was trying to do when I ran for mayor was to change the neg negative perception of Compton. And that's why we came with, up with the motto of birthing a new Compton. It's really a spiritual thing. So people will come to Compton. We will get positive publicity instead of that negative publicity we have been getting in the past. And then eventually, man, we can charge outsiders to come to Compton and use our facilities. Speaking of negative publicity, you did have an incident a few weeks ago mm. where a family or black family was kind of run out of Compton by a gang in what appeared to be some sort of ethnic cleansing. Um, what are you, what's, what's happened since then, and how do you stop something like that from happening? Well, since then, those t two gentlemen, they were indicted uh, by, federal, by the federal government on four counts of hate crime, which carries 10 years maximum peace. So they're looking at 40 years. I think that's a deterrent. Anybody who wants to do anything against another group, you're looking at going to prison for a very long time. So what we've been trying to do, we've been trying to reach out to the various uh, people in the community, leaders in the community, and just ordinary people, the blacks and the browns, to get together to say that this is not about this. A few bad apples will try to ruin it for the whole bunch. Because it, it, it gives that, that feeling that Compton is not a safe city. Is Compton a safe city? Compton's very safe. I, I have to commend the Sheriff's Department. Our crime rates are at the lowest rates. We're just still fighting that negative perception we've had going back for decades. And speaking of the negative perception, part of that came from the past mayor, Omar Bradley, who is back in the race. Well, I'm not going to comment so much on that. Uh, I think the people can make a choice on who they think would be the best person to lead the city into the next four years.